and welcome back to my channel. I have a fun project for us to do today. I recently planted some tomatoes and um, just from seed and some of them did pretty well and some of them kind of did this, they got a little leggy on me and then they kind of just flopped over and when I was trying to plant some of them the other day I was thinking well it would probably grow better like this and that kind of uh, was the inspiration for this project. I've never done an upside down tomato planter before, but I've really wanted to do one. And normally you'd plant them in a bucket similar to this. And while this is pretty functional, it's not very pretty. And I have these, these um, wire baskets and it has a hanger. I just have it disconnected for, for the moment. Um, I have these wire baskets and I was wondering if I could use them. I wasn't really sure um, because I've never done this project before. But I was in the grocery the other day and I found these cocoa liners for 99 cents and they fit perfectly. And so I'm pretty excited. I think we can make that work. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut a hole here. Kind of, um, you know, I don't want the tomato to grow into the wire, but here somewhere at the bottom where it can be close so it kind of looks centered when it comes out of the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a small little opening because you can see my root ball on my tomato is not very big at all and I don't want it to fall out. So that hole in the lining can't be any bigger than the root of your tomato. That's most important, I think. So we have our opening. I think it's ready. I think I can get that tomato in there. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll fit right in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this with soil. And I have a couple different varieties here. I have some organic, um, this is for raised beds, and I'm not going to put very much in because I want to be able to work with the tomato in the bottom and get it secured really well before I go crazy with the soil. we go. Now we're just going to tip it a little bit, find our hole, and slip our tomato right in there. And I'm working it in because like I said, I want that hole a little smaller than the ball of the tomato. There, that is in there. And can you see it's coming out the bottom? It's not too loose that it's going to fall out. I get a little tug. And now we can plant up the rest. Set my pot on another pot so this pot is empty so that the tomato will just hang down in there and not get smushed. And I'm just going to add my soil now into the planter. And now I have a combination of some pretty wave petunias. And I'm just going to put them in the pot. Hey everyone, thanks for following along, it's such a fun video. I had a great time making this pretty version of the upside down tomato. I hope this inspires you to make your own pretty version of the upside down tomato. I hope that you will like and subscribe and follow along and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!